Hello fellow surfers, welcome to Flavor Tasters, the food and beverage review channel and everything else in relation to food and beverages and so on and so forth and forth and so forth. We have Kenko, we have a nice hot Kenko coffee and um, this is my kind of go-to brand by the way and um, when I do buy coffees I will down the line be reviewing coffees or the um, over the future um, it's got a nice smooth roast smell to it the nice aromas well bodied um, yeah so I'm going to be reviewing different coffees to see which one's the best I've always stuck to this one because because it, it had that like nice earthy fragrant um, taste to it a rich taste to it um, with a slight underlying bitterness after a while, if you have too many, it has a little bit of a bitterness at the back of the palate. But when you have like, I typically have two, um, two sugars with a bit of milk. And yeah, I mean, it has a slight sweetness, tiny bit of a hint of bitterness to it earthy slightly um kind of a slightly earthy um hint to it but it's got a nice robust rich flavor to it now the price of this one the one that i buy is the 200 grams right here let's put this there you go the 200 gram one um which was five pound and the 100 gram one i think is like three pound 25 or something like that yeah better off actually buying this one for like 100 grams more it's better than buying two if you were buy two it would be in the six pounds so you could be playing yeah paying maybe it's a six pound um what six uh, yeah six pound fifty margin so like another one pound fifty more if you just bought them separately, like the smaller ones. It's got a nice smooth roast to it. It's not like too rich. Um, when it, it it's got a richness to it, but it's not too rich where the bitterness starts kind of being announced on the tongue instantaneously. It takes a little while after a few cups with how smooth this is. You can get a bit of the bitterness, but it's only a slight hint. If you have too much of it, it'll start getting a point where, say, you know, having that almost furry kind of um, feel because of the bitterness. Um, but if you're just having like one coffee or one coffee every few hours, um, just to you know relax with and stuff, this is a really nice full-bodied flavored um, coffee the go to and depending on how um, much milk you put in you can vary it to if the bitterness will come out more predominant as well if it's not as much um, milk in it's going to be a little bit more um, bitter than if it had more milk in but yeah for me this is like the go-to at the moment but we'll try some of the coffees out as well and um you never know i might change my mind with what is the go-to but this is the goat has <laughs> anyone watched them videos the goats where they go <laughs> anyway you should check that out because it's funny just put up uh, goat noises it'll make you laugh but yeah try not to laugh goats or something like that yeah it's it's the go-to um coffee at least it's my go-to and it's not i mean it's a little bit steep depending on your um your go-to if you've got a cheaper go-to for coffees and that does it for you this may be steep five pound when you can get the cheap coffee if that does the job for you 
nice roast, nice sweetness, hint of bitterness, well-rounded, rich aromas from the coffee. You should check it out. I'm starting to get a little bit of the bitterness at the back now, um, kind of standing out. Just, but hey, if you've done a review on this coffee before, tell me your views and opinions down in the comment section below. If you like this video, or if you have done a review, tell me your channel, the review name. Sorry for the you uh, the phone going off. The <coughs> the name of your channel and the name of the review that you've done in relation to this so I can go and check it and if I like the reviews I'll maybe subscribe but obviously I don't just subscribe to anyone it has to be decent quality and I may drop a comment as well now if you don't mind subscribe hit the notification bell select all notifications strike the like share the content and all the good stuff you can also just leave a comment if you're just a viewer, you're not a YouTuber, commenter, uh, content maker. If you just want to see it, do you agree with this? Is this the coffee to go to for you? Or do you disagree? Do you think this is a bit too bitter? It's not really smooth. What is it for you? Tell me down in the comment section below. And check the links in the description, which will hopefully lead you over to Discord or Facebook or Twitter. With that said, ladies and gents, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this coffee, watch a little bit of YouTube, and like I say, I want to make a good community, so I want my viewers to tell me their channels if they do reviews as well. This is only for those who do review videos, by the way. Whether it's technology review or whatever, you can also promote. What I'll do is another live stream, um, another live stream, this isn't a live stream, I'll do maybe the live stream down the line if we pick up um, where you can just like promote in the comments all things or maybe I'll do another video where I'll say promote all things but at the moment when I do these videos I want like other reviews on the same topic so I can watch um, the same topic and see like how the other people are doing. But yeah, maybe I'll do a video or something. Um, but this is more of a food and beverage time for you to push out there your channels if it's on the same topic. I'll do another video down the line where you can just see it, all types of reviews. But yeah, I'll catch you later. I'm going to enjoy. I'm just repeating myself now. Blah, 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 blah. Bye.